just save myself the trouble of uh, button up the old fly, you know. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm on the couch with the two stinky dogs, and uh, yeah, I just got back from a week-long winter camping trip, and it was bitterly cold the whole time. So we're going to give you a slight preview of the trip here. So I guess a little slight spoilers ahead. So cue some clips. Dangerous wind chills of 35 to 50 below zero are expected early this morning. Wind chills will slowly climb to 20 to 30 below zero this afternoon before falling into the 40 to 50 below zero range once again tonight. <laughs> Two and a quarter hours of light left. <laughs> Get a little frosty eyelashes there. We're just gonna try it out. I mean, you don't need that. It's beautiful. We got a deer. It does look comfy. Yeah, it was, uh, we still had fun. But it was, I don't think I've ever even been outside when it was that cold. I, I mean, I have probably, but I went camping in it for a week and it was just, it was interesting. So I'll have that video next Sunday, hopefully. I'm working on editing it all this week. It's going to take a long time to edit. Um, it was a it was a lot of sporadic recording because it was just so cold. We were just, you know, a lot of hanging out at camp. Either way, we're going to get that to you next week. I hope you're excited for it because it was a fun trip, even though Monty wasn't there and well, it's a good thing he didn't come because if he would have probably went across some of those lakes on that first day with the wind chill, there might not be a uh, Monty anymore. He, I don't know if he would have survived. It was cold. And uh, yeah, it was real cold. So anyways, uh, as you can see, I've got a whole lot of packages here that I've been collecting for a little bit here. I just haven't had time to do an unboxing video or I just, you know, I've been doing this this trip took some preparation more than normal I've never done something like that so uh yeah I've got a whole pile of packages here and well got a little bit of a late start today and today's Sunday so I'm gonna try to go through this a little quicker so that I can get you this video live before midnight tonight you know because that'd be technically Monday and we upload on Sundays and I've been doing real good with 10 a.m. uploads lately except for today so Let's jump right into it. <sighs> okay, so first thing I want to say is for those of you that sent me letters, thank you very much. Um, I don't know what happened, but one of you, I think it was Michael, sent me a letter wishing me a Merry Christmas, and I didn't get that till like two weeks ago. I don't know what the heck happened with that letter. It must have floated around the postal system or something, but anyways, thank you very much for that and the card, and uh, yeah, I love reading the letters from you guys, and thank you very much. So let's do some unboxing. So as always, we are going to start with Amazon packages, and then we're gonna jump into packages that were sent and mailed by people, you know, that wrapped it up and shipped it themselves. So we have got here, China Post. I cannot read Chinese, so I don't know who this is from. I think there's gonna be a treat in here for the boys at some point because they've been, the, their snippers are going crazy. Oh. I feel like, hey, it's a dog poncho. I think we just got sent this. Oh, I know you, how you love it. I know how you love it. Okay, so this one is a little too small for Rooks. And Rooks is the smaller of the two. I do think, yeah, it won't even... Rooks. Do you like that, Rooks? Do you wanna, Rooks? Are you there? Are you there, Rooks? He's like, if I stay perfectly still, maybe this thing will go away. Burger, you look like a babushka lady. He's so pretty. 
Okay, Rugs. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Rugs. Ruger's clearly not impressed. Okay, so this is a little too small for Rugs. Um, thank you for very much, whoever sent it. But one thing I like to mention with as far as these unboxings go, if something doesn't fit the dogs or I can't use it or I've got like extras of it, um, I'm gonna pass it along to friends with dogs that can use it. So um, this does, is not gonna fit Monty. I'm not gonna try because it barely even fit Ruger. So whoever sent it, thank you. We're gonna find a home for it. And yeah, thank you once again. We've got an Amazon package. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, boys. There's no letter. So, this is an Elkhorn Premium Chew. And the boys love chewing on these, especially this guy. Monty will chew on until the flavor is gone, but Ruger will gnaw on them for a while. Um, I'm thinking, what I've learned is with these Amazon packages, when there's no letter or receipt, sometimes there's a uh, multiple in different packages. So I'm sure or maybe there's gonna be another one somewhere along the way. Uh, so we'll wait. We're not gonna give this to him yet because there's only one. We gotta be fair. We can't just have one take a bone because this one will get jealous and he'll look at you with those little beady eyes and you don't want that. You're getting stared with the overbite and a little beady eyes, it's, it's scary. So thank you very much whoever sent this. I hope we see a letter from who did send it. But yeah, these are great. These are not cheap either. Quality, real antler bones. So yeah, thank you very much once again. Okay, we've got something here, boys. All right, this one's got a letter. I tried to order these with even shorter handles so you could actually start your hands on fire, but that was not an available option from Big Fat No. Well, thank you very much. You've definitely sent a couple things before on the channel, so let's see what I'm going to be burning my hands with. Nice. These are the uh, exact spatulas I use. These are uh, Chef Craft spatula, the cheap little spatula you always see me using. I actually have these on my Amazon store down in the description, but uh, yeah, awesome because my one is getting a little loose, so I definitely need another one. And uh, we've got another Elkhorn here. So, what that means is the boys can go ahead. You're so interested, Rooks. You're just so interested. If it seems like I'm speaking real fast, that's because I drank a whole pot of coffee before recording. So, you know, can you twirl? Oh, that was such a good boy. There you go. Go ahead. Yeah. Monty, can you just stay there and be cute? And take it out of my hand? Just take it out of my hand. There you go. Okay, good boy. <laughs> All right. What else do we got here? Oh, it's one of these, okay. I've definitely seen these before, and I think I have one similar to this. Um, it's it's kind of like a great great with no legs. I'll definitely have to give this a try at some point because you know, but it, it again, it's the great great. It's hard to it's hard to you know vary away from it. But uh, yeah, these are nice. These are uh, you just use logs to set it up or rocks, and it works perfectly well. And let's say I'm gonna do like a pizza roll thingy, my Bob. Uh, you know, the, the holes are smaller, so it won't fall through as easily. <laughs> anyway, so thank you very much once again. We're just going to town on that thing right there. Okay, another Amazon package, Monty. Okay, Monty, it wasn't good enough. Come on. It's a premium Elkhorn antler. Burger, you guys are monsters. You really are monsters. Okay, we have got a letter. Okay, we've got some treats for the boys from Scarlett and James. Mm -hmm. Okay, what they have requested is when I give them these treats. That's right, treats. 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 Do you want a treat? <laughs> that, uh, I have them sit pretty. Alright, we've got some Portland pet food. Grain and gluten-free pumpkin biscuits. You guys want a treat? Up, 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 up. Monty, you want a treat? Come on. Okay, sit down, sit down. All right, boys. This is probably what they were smelling. You want a little biscuit there, boys? All right. Sit, sit, sit pretty. That was perfect, Rooks. Good boy. Monty, sit pretty. 
Sit. Sit, Monty. No, no, no. Come here. Sit. Sit pretty. Oh, you want some help? Sit, Monty. Monty, sit down. Sit. 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 All right, use my arm. Sit. Sit. All right, use my arm. Sit pretty. <laughs> Good boy. He needs, he needs a little assistance. Oh, you're drooling all over my Monty. Oh, stop it. Oh, jeez, that's gross. Monty. Monty, close your, Monty. Close your mouth. Oh my gosh. Drool all over myself. Jeez. That's disgusting. He's got his little two front teeth are so small that they, they can't close the gap in his his mouth so the drool just pours out when he's chewing. But I don't know if that if that's really the case. Gosh. Alright, we're gonna save some of these for later because I don't feel like having a, a pool a swimming pool of drool on my lap. Yeah, okay? Alright? Alright boys? There is something else in here. We've got, ooh, is this a, ooh, this is a little dog treat pouch. Okay, this is like for, it's a little training pouch. It's a Amazon Nova dog treat bag. So these are great. Funk loves these. She's actually becoming a dog trainer, so she uses this like all the time. It clips on your side, and then you just put little treats in here and anything else you need for dog training, and she will definitely love using this. You know, you just clip her on here. Well, I got some PJs on because I'm getting comfy, and then you got a little dog treat bag. You know, they do a trick. You give them a treat, and here you go. Want a treat? Oh, there's nothing in there. Ha ha. ha. Sorry, guys. Anyways, guys. Thank you very much for the treats in the bag. This will definitely get some use here. Oh, no, like I said, I'm going to go a little bit faster because this is going to take a while to edit, produce, check for errors, upload or reproduce, and then start responding to comments and stuff because I'm a whole week behind. So it's going to take me a couple weeks here to get all these comments caught. But anyways, yeah, we're, we're moving a little quicker than normal. We're trying. Late start and all. Things happen. You know. You know. Right, boys? You know. Over your pen. God, look at these just creatures in my face. What do we got here? Oh, what was that? Okay, we got a letter. Not sure how these will work. I'm gonna try a few. Okay, so we've got something from Aaliyah. I'm not gonna say your last name because I never do. We have got these are grilling gloves okay awesome i've got a pair of these before something like them now i know you're expecting me to take these out camping but that is something i do not do if i were to stop burning my hands it just would change everything you know it's like the ripple effect you change one thing and it all falls apart but i will 100 percent use these at home which i do I, I use my other ones that I got and uh, it's always nice to have a second pair for someone else because like when you're, these are especially nice, um, you know, pulling stuff out of the oven or mainly when I use metal skewers on the grill. In the past, I've actually really burned myself and got blisters by doing shish kebabs, the metal skewers and just like flipping them and then the, the things are red hot. So this is perfect for something like that or grabbing meat. So anyways, Aaliyah. I will unfortunately not take these out camping, but I will still use them and I appreciate it. So thank you very much. And they're they're so fashionable. Monty, come here. Come here, Monty. Come here. Come here, Monty. Come here. Another thing is that the, uh, fortunately those fit my hands. I've got some big old hands with some long fingers here. Uh, so gloves are usually a tougher for me. I usually go with the biggest size I can get on all gloves. And luckily those fit. So good job on guessing the size. Ruger is now switched to Monty's Bone. And he's going to get some of the flavoring off. It's okay. It's going to happen. This guy, look at him. He's greedy. He's like, I want stuff that I can chew up and swallow. He's kind of like me. You know, Ruger's... Ruger's more sophisticated. He he appreciates a good toy or a nice long chew. Monty's like, I want immediate satisfaction. I want to eat it, swallow it, eat it, swallow it, keep doing it, and, and never stop. Yeah, I see.
see you, Monty. All right, we've got another Amazon package. And now we're going to put down his toy because he wants stuff. What is this? We got something that I have never seen before. Enjoy this portable trash bag holder for your outdoor and camping trips from the Myrtle team. The Mirthe team. Huh, so what is this? This is a over the cabinet plastic. Okay, so, oh I see. Okay, so it's like a little trash bag holder that uh, you put on like a um, like, uh, what am I trying to say here? You know, like a drawer, something like this. And then it holds and you put your little trash bag in there. Okay. See? Okay, cool. I'll definitely, this is something more along the lines for car camping. If I bring this out and stuff this in my pack, it's going to get broken open. And I already, you know, when I, I usually pack out my trash in my newly used big old Rubbermaid Brilliances. So... Definitely give these a shot when I do car camp. A nice little spot to put our trash bag. So, thank you very much once again. Okay, we've got another package here from uh, Outdoor Bunker. Oh, there we go. That's something that is definitely going to get destroyed, used, and abused. Let's see, we've got no letter, but we have got paracord. Orange paracord with the little holder and cutter which I don't really use because let's be honest I like my rat's nest but I think this is a hundred feet here so awesome yeah paracord is always good I will always use it nothing better than a fresh roll of paracord to just cut up turn into a rat's nest in five minutes am, am I right am I right you know what I'm saying <laughs> so whoever sent that uh, does not say anywhere so thank you very much always love some paracord is it just me Rouge, or is it hot in here I think, you know, the pot of coffee is like, it's making me feel very warm. What is the temperature? It's a little warm in here. We're going to spoil ourselves and turn it down a degree, boys. A whole degree. Yeah. 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 Okay. Let's do another Amazon package. Ruger's like, please be a treat. What is this? We have got a letter, I think. If nothing else, something fun to mess with around the boys for a few minutes from Alex. What do we got here? <laughs> oh. Okay. I see. I see what you're saying about messing around with the boys here. Let's, let's, we're going to need a minute to set this up. on YouTube. I've hit rock bottom. <sighs> okay, well, I definitely got Monty pretty good. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> thanks for the mask. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I'll wear this one out in public. We'll see, but uh, yeah. <laughs> definitely got Monty pretty good. <laughs> So thanks once again. Monty, what did you think about that? I don't think he knew who I was. Like, what the heck is that thing? What the heck is that? Alright, we've got a letter. Oh, some tape. No, no letter. No letter. Why no letter? Okay, well, there's no letter in this one. What we've got here is a Super Sparrow. Ooh, 
Oh, I think it's a thermos. Super Sparrow 750 milliliter Pro Steel sweat proof finish. Thermos, I think. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Oops. What is that? Well, these must be replacement little noggins. Ooh, that is nice. What is this? Is this like a. Oh, I see. This is to keep it from. If you got hot stuff in there, maybe. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's nice. Cool. I don't really have many nice thermoses. Awesome. Small mouth. Cool, yeah, that, that's definitely high quality, nice little thermos there. Good for keeping water cold and keeping things hot. Hot for 12 hours. Definitely throw some coffee in there and have that later. I don't need coffee right now, so we're not gonna use it right now. But anyways, thank you once again, whoever sent it. It does not say. Ooh, what do we got here? We've got a Super Sparrow 750 milliliter BPA free bottle. Now I always usually use Nalgene's when I'm out camping because of the mouth size to go with my uh, water filters and uh, just they just are convenient and I usually end up destroying them by putting them too close to the fire in winter and melting them. So stuff like this, um, I don't know if I'll bring out camping as much. I will definitely use it or you know when it comes time for deer camp season, definitely bring something like you know that. But what do we got here? Ooh, okay, we've got a nice little water bottle. It's got a nice little holder, and it's got like a, a little drinking pouch. That's convenient. Anyways, these are, these are definitely gonna get some use and uh, look like some nice water bottles. So thank you very much, whoever sent it. Once again, it does not say. But yeah, thanks. Well, both boys are enjoying their bones. Monty's over here, Ruger's over here. They're definitely, uh, whoops, that was that, was that one. We're definitely enjoying them bones right now. Okay, we've got another one. Another Amazon package. Amazon package. Does not say. What does that smell? It's like new plastic smell. Does not say who this is from. What do we got here? Oh yeah, it's that new plastic smell. It smells kind of weird sometimes, the new plastic smell. What is this? Steaks. It's got this, is this a tarp or something? Okay, nice. We've got a tarp here. Huh. Always love extra tarps. Cool, and it's got the heat reflector material, so it'll definitely retain heat a little better. I'll just have to test out how waterproof it is. But it's a nice little tarp. I'm not sure the size on it. Awesome. Let's say, oh, it's a 10 by 10. Awesome. Yeah, always love extra tarps. I usually use my AquaQuest 10 by 13 lately, but uh, yeah, if this one's waterproof, we'll have to see if it retains the water, or reflects it, but cool. Definitely love extra tarps. I, I, when I go camp with other people, we're setting up like a nice shelter, or if I burn too many holes through my current tarp, you know? So cool, thank you very much whoever sent this. It does not say in there. Speaking of tarps, I've only ever had one bad tarp. It was a, a Crazy Creek tarp. And uh, it was shaped like a house roof. It had the flat ends and it had the angle shape and it leaked, like brand new, leaked out of, you know, we were just, I set it up, I think I took it on that trip with Jake and Dan, our fall trip, and uh, yeah, it was leaking, because I, I somehow forgot a tarp, and I knew it was gonna be super rainy, so I bought one at a store on the way, just because I did not want to go without a tarp for a week in the really cold, and the dang thing leaked. So, uh, yeah, I do not like that tarp. Okay, we have got another Amazon package. There's definitely quite a few ones here. What is that? What? I 
There's no letter. What is this? Mermaker Burritos Wrap Blanket. Oh, it's got one of those little backpack mesh holders. What the heck is going on here? Thank you for choosing me. I'm a burrito blanket, a tasty looking soft fuzzy blanket. So please give me a cold, please give me a cold bath before use. Machine wash and gentle cycle water dry at low temperature. Okay, it's a nice little fleece blanket. Okay, it looked all weird. <laughs> Wait, is that a burrito? What is, what is going on here? It's a pizza! <laughs> it's a pizza blanket! <laughs> hey, it's kind of fuzzy. It's kind of nice. This will definitely get some use while we're watching TV. Hey, Monty, do I look delicious now? It does kind of make me want pizza. <laughs> so, yeah. Whoever sent this, thank you for the nice fuzzy blankets. Uh, me and Funk love having a plethora of nice fuzzy blankets when we have my parents over or watching TV. This is definitely going to get washed and uh, it's going to have a place right in our home, right next to the couch, as our, in our little thing of blankets. So what I'm going to do is it says and give it a cold wash before using it and, uh, you know, settling into it. So whoever sent this, thank you very much for the pizza blanket. That's kind of nice. That's great. Hey Monty, come here, come here Monty, come here. You're just, he's just moping around staring at you. Go ahead, sit down, sit down, come on, sit down. Let's sit down, sit down Monty, sit down, sit down. All right, lay down, lay down. Mm. Oh, that was a hard fall, huh? Yeah, you just, you want more trees, don't you, don't you Monty? He's like, yeah, I want to taste your breath too. It's, it's kind of stinky like mine, so I want to eat it. All right, Monty. We're going to open up another one. What, what could this be, Monty? What could it be? What could it be, Monty? Could it be for you? Oh, watch out, Bruce. Oh, hey! Whoa! Oh, wow. Okay, so we don't know who this is from, but this is another one of those super sparrows that we just got, but a bigger size. Whoa, this is one's a little different. Whoa. Okay, so this one is the same sort of thing. It's the double insulated metal one, the thermos, with a carrying case, and it's got a neoprene outside to keep it from burning you I'm assuming with a nice lid and it comes with straws awesome yeah these are definitely gonna be a nice little addition for uh, you know making coffee going out all day sweet so whoever's sending me these it didn't say it don't think I don't think it said but yeah thank you very much these are these are nice these feel really nice and it's got a little cleaning kit for the straws. And it's even got, oh, it's even got a water bottle lid. So in case you want to switch lids, use a plastic one. Maybe if you got something cold, this one's probably made for hot stuff. Sweet. And it comes with a little carabiner. So yeah, thank you very much once again for sending these. I, it always makes me upset when I don't get to know, you know? I don't get to know who sent it. Maybe it'll be in one of these other ones. Monty is, he looks less than impressed right now. It's okay, Monty. That one was that one was for me. Okay. We're gonna set that up to the side since Monty is just so preciously on our laps. We cannot stand up right now. We can't do it. We're gonna open up another one. Hey, Monty, what could this one be? What could it be, Monty T? Oh, this one. Oh, geez. This one looks like it's for you, boys. Okay, we've got a little letter here. Okay, we've got something from Marion. Right, Monty? From Marion, huh? We have got portable aqua. Okay, we got portable aqua water pur purification tablets. Awesome. These are just a nice thing to have in like your first aid or emergency kit. Definitely like carrying some of those. 
Oh, and then we've got some Oravet Dental Hygiene Chews. You know, they like these for their, their bad breath. We haven't been doing these as much lately because we've been switched to the, uh, uh, those daily things, but these are definitely still good for their breath and their teeth. We're going to give them a nice little chew. What do you think, Monty? You think you want a treat? You want a treat? You want a treat? Huh? There you go. Good boys. Yeah, so these are the Oravet Dental Hygiene Shoes. These things are not cheap. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much. We'll definitely give them these. We haven't been giving them as much, but I kind of like these smaller ones because we didn't notice a crazy amount of their teeth being cleaned. We ended up just, uh, Funk did something where she kind of just had some little scraper and that seemed to do the best. Um, but these will definitely help with their breath and I, 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 I hear it's good for them, so we'll keep giving them to them. Uh, until our supply runs out. So thank you very much for these. Did you eat that already, Roos? It's supposed to be a chew. Jeez. Okay, then what do we got here? A pulsino. I don't know what that means. It feels heavy. What do we got here? Fishing lures kits. Ooh. Ooh. This is like a tackle box. Oh my gosh. Wow. There is a lot to this. Awesome. All right, so we're just going to do a close up of this one. Okay, so it's got a whole tackle box. It's got steel eaters right here. It's got, you know, my little twister tail. It's got really mini grubs right there. It's got the little, even the little yellow grubs ones. Uh, it's got little shrimps, it looks like. It's got a bunch of like poppers. Oh yeah, little jerk baits and poppers. Rattlers. Oh my gosh, it's got spinners, spoons, cast master spoons. Wow, this thing is loaded. Oh yeah, it's even got spoons with uh, the little white uh, feathers. Wow. There's a nice little jerk bait there. Oops, don't look at my arms, Monty. Holy crap. It's got unpainted jig heads in two different sizes. It looks, that looks, those are beads. More spoons, big hooks. This looks like Texas rig hooks. Wow, there you go. Nice little, uh, those are, I can't remember what those are called, but, uh, oh, little crappie jigs. Oh my gosh, it's got a whole bunch of hooks. Wow. Little sinkers. The Texas, Texas rig sinkers and the hooks for them. Ooh, more split shots, more split shots. A frog, wow. Awesome, even more split shots. That thing was loaded with stuff. Holy crap. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm not going to use this tackle box. I've got my own tackle boxes that I kind of tear apart, take all the stuff out and I individually put, I got places for spinners, spoons, all that stuff. So yeah, I'm going to definitely take this apart later and uh, organize it in all my tackle. Awesome. That's a pretty neat little kit. This thing, these, these lures are not really cheap. They seem like, you know, generic lures, but they'll still work. A fish can't tell the difference between uh, a cheaper lure like this and an expensive, you know, Rapala lure. So they work just as well. So awesome. This, there was definitely a lot of stuff packed in here. This definitely could not have been cheap. So 302 pieces. Wow. So yeah, thank you very much once again for all the stuff. I'm going to set this off to the side here. Okie dokes, one more Amazon a package. What do you think, Monty? You got enough treats, right? Your guys are good. You don't want any more, right? I, I think so too, yeah. You don't need any more. You're fine. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Uh-oh. What do we got here, boys? Okay, we've got Aleta. You're gonna lose them, so why not stock up? Don't lose them. From Big Fat No. Okay, so we have got more 
Three Inch Meanie, Mr. Twister is my number one used and lost lure. Like he said, don't lose them. Well, I'm going to lose and use a lot of these. So these never hurt. I, I these are This is just my favorite lure of all time. So, yeah. Oh, and then we've got some aviator sunglasses. I think I've gone through a couple of pairs of those. <laughs> I'm really terrible with sunglasses. I, MXNX sunglasses. I actually ordered a nice pair of sunglasses and returned them. Oh, it's even got the little, I think I got a, an, the exact same pair of these. It's got a mini little Phillips screwdriver it comes with. Oh yeah, I definitely got a pair of these, and I will use them until, uh, you know, I scratch them up or destroy them like I do with most pairs of sunglasses. That's why I get cheap sunglasses. I, uh, I can't keep them, I can't keep them perfect forever. Here we go. Do I look suave or what? <laughs> awesome. Okay. And then we've got, oh jeez. Oh my geez. Boys, we've got Solimo, sweet potato, and duck jerky for dogs. Two pounds. You guys don't want this, do you? Speak. 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 All right, you don't want to speak. I get it. Oh, we got two packs of the mini team. Two Mr. Twisters. Awesome. Let's, uh,. They don't want to speak. You know why? Because they're smart. And they're like, you know what? All you're holding is a bag. There's there's nothing. Wow. Doesn't taste that bad. They actually taste like sweet potato. You know? <laughs> I bet on somewhere on here it says not for human cons consumption. Oh yeah, right there. Big letters. Not for human consumption. <laughs> Anyways, boys. Now let's see if we can get you to speak. 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 Oh, good boys. Yeah, see? <laughs> They're like, you're just holding it back. No, you're holding it. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, so thank you very much there. Uh, they're definitely going to be loving this one. They seem to enjoy that quite a bit. And it didn't even taste that bad to me. Okay? Say what you will, but I like to try my dog's treats before I give them to them. Does that make me weird? Sure. Maybe. I don't know. I, I think it's kind of normal, but it might not be. I don't know. It's probably weird. Anyways, yeah. Thanks again. to the non-Amazon packages. This one is from Rochelle. Just thought it'd be funny if I combined the, uh, you know, the mask with uh, the sunglasses. Thought it might look like I was ready to rob a bank or something. But, uh, you know, you know. <laughs> okay, what do we got here? All right, Rooks, I see uh, some kind of something. We got a letter. Here we go, here we go. So, she said she sent a little joint supplement stuff for the Monty because he was limping, as you guys know. But so far, since I've returned from my trip, Funk has been playing Frisbee, letting him romp around and do their normal thing. He seems to be 100% healed, and he seems to be a full Monty. The Monty seems to be normal. So that means we can go back to the old letting him just romp around, beating him with the sleeping pad, stuff like that. Either way, we're just giving them joint supplements, you know, what, for as long as, you know, whatever. We're just going to keep giving it to them just because it seems to be healthy for them. They seem to be fine. So what we've got here is just for dogs, Joint Care Plus. I'm going to research these, but if they check out, I'm definitely going to be giving them these um, when we're out of the other stuff because, like I said, what do we got here? Oh, and then we've got fish oil. This seems like something you just squirt on their food. 
Yeah, these are like the exact treats we've been giving them is the joint supplement and the fish oil for their skin coat. So I'll definitely check these out and we'll be giving them this because I want to keep them healthy. I want to keep them be able to run around. So awesome. And then of course we've got some organic dehydrated sweet potato fries for dogs. Wet noses, the organic dog treats. What's in here? Looks like, where's the ingredients? Oh, ingredients, organic sweet potatoes. Ooh, okay boys, you want a treat? Since it seems like the ingredients are organic sweet potatoes, that means they can't hurt if I You know, I'll taste them. I'll taste the treats. It tastes like organic dried sweet potato, but I'm not going to eat it because I don't, you know, when the, when it's dog treats, you don't know how they treated them and you know, it just might not be as safe, but it tastes just like dehydrated sweet potatoes. Here I am on the internet eating dog treats again, boys. All right, who wants a treat? Can you do a twirl? Twirl? Oh, good boys. Good boys. All right. Let's do a uh, What do we got now? Well, let's just break this one up. Sit. Sit. No. No. Sit. Sit. Sit pretty. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Sit. Sit. Ruger, sit. Sit down. Good boy. All right. Sit pretty. Good boys. All right. All right. So thank you very much for the dog supplements and the treats here. Definitely uh, check those out and then we'll give them to the boys here. Let's go with this one. I think I know what's in this one. Uh, someone mentioned down in the comments. It is from Japan, and it seems to be a Zen Pop box, which uh, I think you mentioned after, watch out, Rogues, watch out, I got a sharp knife. I can't remember your name exactly right off the top of my head, but you definitely mentioned that you sent me this after seeing me cook at Camp Ramen. So, ooh, oh yeah. So you guys know me, I love a good ramen. Uh, so we've got a Japanese ramen box. Awesome. I cannot read a single, there's 550 milliliters. That's about what I can read on this one. Yep, nope, can't read a single thing on there. Um, so we've got this one, which is, uh, we got this one. Well, this one's got green onions, meat, and noodles. Let's just go off what we can see. This one's got like grilled chicken, whole bunch of veggies. Um, this one's got, ooh, this looks like mushrooms, bamboo shoots, onions, ooh. Ooh, this one's got corn, green onions. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna eat one of these right after this video. These look delicious. I love a good ramen. Ooh, this one's got those, uh, I don't know what type of noodles those are. Uh, definitely different, I might try that one. Cook Happiness Ace Cook, ooh. Yeah, so we've got a whole box of ramens. Hot noodle, Neo. Okay. And then we've got Cup Star 46th birthday. Ooh. Awesome. Oh, there's a little thing here. Let's see if this, see if this is in English. Oh, here we go. Oh, it says each one in English. Oh, yeah. I am definitely excited to eat some of these. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dive into this right after I'm done with this video, and I'm gonna eat some of this while I'm editing this video. Now it doesn't say who it's sent from, but I remember seeing your name down in the comments. Comment on this video so I can give you a big old thanks. But yeah, thank you very much once again. I am excited to eat these, and uh, I think me and Funk are gonna eat these 50-50 and each try them because she loves a good ramen too, so we're both gonna be tasting these, let's be honest. I mean, I'd like to eat them all myself because I'm a food monster, but I also like to share. So, yeah, thanks again.
And I'll also be honest, we knew what that box was before I went on my trip when we got it. I had it sitting there and she she definitely wanted to open it and eat some ramen while I was on my trip, but she didn't, so I'm thankful for that. <laughs> okay, we've got another package here from Stefan in Deutschland. Dutchland. How do you say that? D E U T C H land? Dutchland? Deutschland? Deutschland? Dutchland? Dutchland? Somewhere not close to here. <laughs> that's, all, that's all we're going to say. I'm really good at pronouncing things. Ooh, we've got a sand disc. Huh. Okay, we've, let, let's see what we got here. We've got a letter. Okay. So Stefan here said he sent me a, ooh, a GPS device. Wow. I now, he said, showed a comment uh, that I do not have one. And he asked why I didn't use one. It's because I don't have one. We've got the Oregon 450. Wow, this thing does not look like it's a cheap device. Uh, I've, I've never bought a uh, GPS because uh, I just never really thought about it. I just go out to the woods. But I will definitely be giving this a try. Okay, so we've got a little GPS device. This is definitely going to take some messing around here. He said this is his older one. He got a newer one. That's why he doesn't use this anymore. So, uh, cool. I This is going to definitely take some messing around with. This is not something I'm just going to turn on right now and dive into. Um, so, yeah. Definitely a GPS device. I think it's going to have maps on here, he was saying. And uh, it's got, like, adventure modes for keeping track of your distance and whatnot. So, sweet. This is pretty cool. Thank you very much. I'm definitely going to try it out, see how it works, and uh, I'm not going to say too much more about it right now because I have no clue. I've never even touched a GPS. <laughs> I'm not, I, I don't use them, so I don't really know what I'm getting myself into until I spend some time and learning this device and playing with it. So yeah, thank you very much once again, Stefan. Uh, I definitely look forward to trying that out, and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Cool. Charlie. It's from Charlie. Okay. Watch out, Rugs. Let's see you go. Oh, from Big Bad Foe. So we got something from Big Bad Noel here. He says he found these extras, so why not send them? Okay. We have got some uh, Deep Woods Off Insect Repellent Wipes. All right. Some Wilderness Formula Water-Based 30% DEET. So I don't use a lot of DEET. I've, I've been starting, I, I'll take that back. Sometimes when the mosquitoes get really bad, I've been lately, I, I used to just deal with it and not care. And I've been trying different lotions and stuff, but sometimes nothing really beats DEET. It just doesn't for when the mosquitoes are just horrendous. Um, and yeah, sometimes I still will use it. I mostly use it on my clothes. I don't like to spray it on my face. But I always go back and forth. If I, it, it all depends on my mood. If I am in a mood where I like, the mosquitoes are like kind of getting you, but not crazy, I'll go without deed. I won't put it on. But if I'm like fed up or I've had a long day and I'm just getting mauled to death, I'll just forget all what I've said before and I'll just spray some wherever and just get them off me. It all depends on my mood, how I'm feeling that day. And I always go back and forth between, now nah, I'll never use DEET and, oh yeah, give me the DEET, I need it now. It's just, mosquitoes are just their own little unique scenario where sometimes they're less, they're not getting to you as bad. And sometimes they're driving you absolutely nuts. It's just, that's all we're gonna say about that. Uh, Funk definitely uses the DEET. She, she's, she doesn't care, she does not wanna get eat alive. I definitely have no problem spraying it on my clothes, but I don't like getting it near your camera because DEET does eat through plastic and ruins cameras. I've, I've, I've heard that. Okay, so we've got Picardin. I tried that one out. It seemed to work okay, but yeah, definitely use all these. And then we've got some Duck Dynasty hand warmers. Definitely use some of those. Hunter's Field Dressing Gloves. Okay, now these... Uh, these are for when you're hunting. They're big, long gloves, and you know I, I, I do my own hunting. I, I take care. You know when I'm doing that, I, uh, I dress the deer. I do it all myself, and I process it all, all of it. 
So one thing I'll say about these is a lot of people don't like these, but these are very handy when the temperatures are frigid out. So, you know, when it's like below zero or it's around zero and you've got to, you know, dress an animal, um, getting covered and all wet and stuff, it just makes it so you're so cold afterwards and you, if you're by yourself, it's, it's not as fun, especially if you have like frozen water. So using these, it kind of keeps you clean so that you can put your gloves back on right away after you're done and, you know, they're just nice to do that. I, I don't always use them, but definitely always keep a pack with me. Then we've got some Coleman's toe warmers. We've got an 84 inch by 52 inch emergency blanket. Definitely got a few of those. I, I, I plan on building a shelter using these. I'm not going to say any more than that. We've got uh, Mission Hand Foot Warmers, Hot Hands Hand Warmers, and Mini Hand Warmers, Grabbers. Sweet. And then we got some more hand warmers here. And then we got this thing. What is this here? Lanyard. Oh, geez. That is a big... Now that's a fire steel. Holy crap, look at that thing. I mean, ah, oh, why am I doing that? That is a fire steel. That is a beefy thing. Wow. Oh, ah. You're asking me why I'm hitting myself? It's just to, get, to let you hear the sound of the thud of the, the weight of this thing. Oh, it's making me strong. It makes me a real man. Ah. Okay, enough of that. That actually hurts. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that. Oh, yeah, it's got a little scraper, too. I should not do this in my house or into a cardboard box, but we're going to... Okay. Don't do this at home. In your living room. <laughs> enough of this. Getting a little crazy. Anyways, Big Fat No, thank you for all the stuff here. Definitely going to get put to use here. And now my hand hurts. That'll be good for editing later. We've got a few more here. We've got one from Jane. Okay. Thank you very much for the letter, Jane. And uh, we've got a little bag of Alberto beef jerky. I would open this and eat this right now, but I'm going to save this for when I go on my a camping trip next because I like bringing out little snacks. Just a little bag of Alberto all natural original beef jerky. Awesome. Yeah. I could devour this in two seconds, but I'm going to eat some of those ramens after this. So we're going to save this for camping, you know, because that's what happens on the channel and that's when we're going to use it. So awesome. Thank you very much once again, Jane. I always love getting different types of beef jerkies. You know, they all got different little flavors. I, I remember those, I think it was, they were from Australia. They sent me a whole bunch of those mini ones. I devoured those. <laughs> they were delicious. But, I, you know, beef jerky is not cheap, so I, it's, it's always a nice little treat to get there. We've got one from Judy. They're like, it's been too long. We, 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 feel like, we feel like we deserve something. Okay? Okay, guys. We've got a letter. Donna and Judy, thank you very much for the letter. So what they said they got here is some toilet paper tablet rolls. 60 clean cloths. You just add a little bit of water and these little tablets here, they turn into a full cloth. And I've got some of these before. And I would, you know, I put some water on here, but it would ruin one. So I'm not going to do that. You just, there are these little tablets. Let's just, let's just pull them out. These are nice to have. They're, they're just these little tablets. They look almost like big pills, like Tums. They're about the size of Tums, maybe a little bit bigger. But yeah, you just put a little water on there, a couple drops, and it turns into a whole sheet that you can, uh, you know, wipe your butt with or wipe something else off. So awesome. And I like that they come in the little tubes. I think the last ones I got were just like a pop-out tab. But I like that there's little plastic tubes. That's nice. Keeps them safe from water. And then, this looks to be a little spice kit, they said. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So that's like awesome. That's like some nice spice tins. Oh, yeah. Sweet. How does that work? Oh yeah, so it's got, these are nice little spice tins. Cool, a little carrying case. Awesome. So yeah, awesome. Nice little carrying case for spices. Definitely throw some spices in there, give them a shot. 
So thank you very much once again, guys. Oh, ever since I opened up that ramen box, my stomach is just growling. I'm like real hungry right now. I just want to eat them so bad. <laughs> the food monsters me is like, feed me, feed me, feed me now. Okay, we've got a package from Becky. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, we've got a letter. Roses are red, violets are blue. Sometimes I like to drink from the toilet. The end. <laughs> it's got a dog. Okay. So Becky said she sent some spices and she was excited to send me this package. So let's see what we got here. Okay, we've got a pack of Archer Provisions grass-fed beef jerky. Mmm, yeah, I'd eat it right now, but you know what? I, you know where I stand on that. We're gonna wait. Okay, then we've got some soup bones for the boys. These are kind of big. Um. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's not good. Okay, I I thought I smelled something. We'll get to it in a minute here. Uh, yeah, so I'm not gonna give these right now. These are just some big treats and they've already been eating a bunch of treats. There could be more, so sweet. We'll give them after. So we've got a little bit of an issue here. Um, there's definitely some broken glass. She included a bottle of Cholula. <laughs> Cholula, but it's exploded. Um, it didn't leak through the box. But now I gotta be careful because there's definitely a lot of broken glass in here. Um, yeah, so it looks like it, it didn't make it in the packaging. We're gonna, we're gonna be real careful here going forward. So I'm gonna set, all right. So we've got some Tajin Classico Season. This is like a lime flavor. I actually love this stuff. I use it sometimes on fish. I don't use it all the time, but I do use it. It's got a very limey, citrusy flavor. I love this stuff. I love citrus flavor. We've got some El Grande Nacle Cape Ostrich. Now I don't usually give them something that isn't sealed. It's just something I do. Um, and it's kind of coated in Cholula right now. And wait, get, 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 get back, get, get back. And there could be broken glass all over this. So this one might not make it to the boys here just because, well, it, it didn't seem like it was handled with very much care in the shipping process. So I'm sorry, I appreciate it, but um, yeah, if it's not sealed and it's coated in Cholua and glass, <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I feel a little guilty, but there's nothing I can do, it's exploded. Um, okay, then we've got some Cavender's all-purpose Greek seasoning. Looks like this is safe and it made it. Awesome. I don't know what Greek seasoning tastes like, but we're going to try that out. I love having seasonings. Okay, I'm, just, I'm continuing to be careful. Did I cut myself? I might have just cut myself. Okay, then we've got one last little box. Watch out, boys. I'm going to open this here just in case. Watch out, boys. Oh, yeah. Okay, she said she sent the the quadruple threat of Montreal steak seasoning. Oh, can you ever get enough Montreal? No, I don't think so. So we've got roasted garlic and herb, Montreal steak seasoning, the original, Montreal chicken, and hamburger. Now I've used, I do like to change it up sometimes because I always use Montreal for everything. When I'm out camping, I'm gonna use Montreal for everything. But when I'm at home, sometimes I get a little creative and if it's chicken, I'll go with the uh, roasted garlic and herb or the Montreal chicken, and uh, for burgers, I'll use the Montreal hamburger. So, oh geez, Monty. Okay, so thank you very much once again, Becky. Um, I'm sorry about the bone and the Cholua, but you know, it is what it is. I didn't throw it around, so it wasn't me. It was the Postal Service. I'm blaming them. We're giving them the blame. It doesn't look like it was wrapped in bubble wrap or anything, so it was, I think, I think it was a little bit of a gamble. Okay, so yeah, thank you very much once again. I'm gonna set this off to the side and I don't think we got any glass anywhere. Okie dokes, we've got one final, oh, this one's heavy. From Tiffany, oh, this one's real heavy. I 
think this whole unboxing thing is turning these guys into monsters. Every time we get some something in the mail or something, they just think it's for them. Look at, I mean, look at them. Look at them. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, jeez. Uh oh. Uh oh. I think that's some. That's a treat for me, guys. I think I see a treat for me. All right. Okay, we got it. A package from Maximus and Tiff, Scar, and Seuss. Um, and she mentioned that uh, she. I think I think she makes homemade cookies. But as I've said before, I, if things are not sealed and in packaging, just because it's not that I just like, you know, don't want to give it to them. Uh, things that are not sealed in packaging that I know aren't airtight. I just it's the internet. You know, I cannot be too safe, and I, I just won't eat anything that isn't sealed or give the dogs anything that isn't sealed, just because. I'm, I'm going to be, I'm going to take that precaution, and that's just the way it is. So, like she said, she gave me, she put in some treats that were sealed in packaging, so I appreciate that. Thank you. So, what she included here was some Houston breweries, is that what it says? Some Houston Breweries beers. We've got a Hazy IPA, Cloud 8. Oh, yeah. We've got a Spindle Tap Houston Haze. Because, you know, I always, I always like to sip on a beer when I'm winter camping, so I'm definitely going to be bringing one of these out uh, when I go out, one or two. Art Car IPA. Okay. Okie dokes. And then we've got a Honey Hole. She said I should... Uh, Take a little uh, mouthful of honey and then sip on this one. It's quite delicious. So I'll try that one. I might have to do that one at home because I don't usually bring out honey. But yes, thank you very much. Oh, natural and unfiltered Texas honey. Well, there we go. Got the honey to go with it. Awesome. <laughs> okay, and then we've got some Canada Grain Fury. Gra wow, I just slaughtered that word. Grain Free Pure Chewy Treats. Bison and pumpkin. We're gonna make you guys wait till the end and we'll give you those, but uh, we're just gonna keep looking for now. Oh, we've got another one in here. We've got a sunny day IPA. All right. Awesome. Oh, then of course we've got an aluminum snap D ring assortment, aka carabiners, all sorts of different sizes. I love having these. Carabiners are great for everything. Just, I, I use paracord out in the yard to dry tarps and stuff and just being able to clip stuff on, just having just a mess of paper. Carabiners are just great. Then we've got, okay, these are little, uh, little spring things for when you run rope through and you slide stuff on. Nice little assortment of these. Awesome, that's actually kind of good. And then we've got some poly rope, so you know, I'm sure these go along here so I can just tie stuff up and uh, cinch stuff down. I'll mess around with that. Awesome. And then we've got a Hack Attack spinner bait with the Chartreuse and White. My favorite colors. That's good for bass and walleye and all sorts of stuff. More lures. Awesome. So, thank you very much for the letter and thank you very much for the beers. Look at this guy. He's got his, his chin on my leg. But we're going to finish this one with giving the boys here a nice little treat. Huh, boys? Yeah. Okay, boys. What do you think? Speak. 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 Good boy, Rook. Sorry, right, Monty. You can do this. You can do this. Speak. Speak. Oh, close. You need to. You need to give me that full power bark, man. You get to speak. You get to speak. Man, you get the full power. Come on, you can do it. Speak. You to speak. Come on, speak. You're too excited, man. Speak. Speak. Come on, you can speak. Speak. Man. Almost speak. Come on, man. Speak. Do it. Do it. Speak. Come here. Speak. 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 There you go. That was, there it was, Monty. Jeez. I knew we could do it. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you very much for all the stuff. 
lot of cool stuff, a lot of treats for the dogs. Uh, love the letters, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna find a use for everything. And uh, you know, like I said, if it's something I can't use, I'm gonna find a place to use it. And uh, yeah, so uh, I'm sorry that there was nothing crazy this week, but uh, with this trip going on, I've, like I said before, I had a lot of house stuff, and now I've got so many comments to catch up on because when I go on these week-long trips, you know, the comments still keep coming rolling in, and I get way behind. So it's gonna take. I'm going to have to spend quite a few hours responding to comments to get all the way caught up. And, uh, yeah, I don't like that. So I am going to end it here. I'm going to get straight into editing and getting this video uploaded for you guys. So once again, thank you very much, and I will catch you guys at the next video. Have a good one. Have a good one, Monty. Rogus. <laughs> <laughs>